This next uh, question is chapter 7, question number 2, and it deals with uh, determining your estimated position based on a DR plus uh, current effects. So let's read the question and then work it out. Here it is, question number 2. At 0915, you depart point C and sail on a heading of 163 PSC at 5 knots. The current is setting at 45 degrees true at 1.5 knots. What is your estimated position at 1030? So to start this, let's first do the DR. And um, we have a heading given of 163 PSC, so we're going to convert it to true as we've done in the past. So let's take the TVMDC table and under C we're going to put 163 for the PSC as given. Now we then go to the deviation table for the heading of 163 and we look here that we have 150 and we have 180 as far as our boat headings and 163 it is a little less than halfway between those. In other words the middle of this 150 to 180 is 165. So 163 is a little bit less than 165. So therefore we're going to choose a deviation of 2 west, uh, which is closest to um, the 163 that, we, that we're at. So here's 2 west. Now remember, going in this table from right to left with westerly deviation, we're going to subtract. And this therefore becomes magnetic of 161. And as we've previously calculated for this chart, we have a variation of 9 degrees west. So we put the 9 west in here, and again, right to left, we're subtracting west, so therefore this becomes 152. Okay, so let's take this 152 and plot it uh, from, from our starting point, point C. Here's point C, and let's come up here to the true compass rows, and on that compass rows, if you look, here's 140, 150, 160. So here is 152 right in here. And I'm going to set my parallel rules at 152. Come over to my point C and draw a line. And point C was our starting point at um, 0915. So I'll mark that 0915 as the starting time. Now I was traveling at 5 knots and, and between 0915 and 1030, which the question asks, is an hour and a quarter. So let's write that out. Let's write out 1030 minus 0915 equals one hour and 15 minutes. And 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, so therefore that equals 1.25 hours. Remember, this is hours and minutes, but to do a calculation, I'm going to need to convert the minutes to decimal hours, so that becomes 1.25 hours. And the distance traveled on my dr is distance equals speed times time equals the speed of 5.0 knots times 1.25 hours. And 1.25 times 5 is 6.25 nautical miles. So 6.25 nautical miles is the distance we traveled in that one hour and 15 minutes. So I will take my dividers and set these. Here is 26 degrees, zero minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I want 6.25, so I'm setting these there, 6.25. I come back to my point C, my starting point, and put the point on that, point C, 
draw a mark in there, and that mark is at 10.30. So that's a 10.30 DR, the 10.30 dead reckoning. And that's what we were doing in the previous chapters, doing a DR, and that's exactly the same as we're doing here. But now we're going to look at the effects of current on that DR, and the problem says the current is setting at 45 degrees true. So let's first draw in the, in the direction of the current. Coming to the compass rows, I see here's 30, 40, 50, here's 45. I'm going to set my parallel rules at 45 and walk them down to my DR point. And from the DR point, draw on the set line. In other words, current is setting in this direction. That's a set of 45 degrees. <clears throat> the next part is that the current was flowing at 1.5 knots. So here again, let's look at the distance that the current has pushed us in an hour and a quarter. And here again, I have D equals uh, speed times time. The speed here is the speed of the current, or 1.5 knots, so it's 1.5 times the time, 1.25 hours, the current was acting on us for an hour and a quarter, and um, 1.25 times 1.5 becomes 1.9 nautical miles. So the current has pushed us 1.9 nautical miles. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this 1.9 nautical miles, that's the distance that the current has pushed us in an hour and a quarter, and I'll measure that distance as we did before, it's 1.9. So here is 0, 1, 2, and I'm going to set my dividers here at 1.9, 1.9, from the DR position, from the DR starting point, put a little mark there, and on that mark, I'm going to draw a square. Reason is that a square is a symbol for an estimated position, whereas a half circle and a dot is a symbol for a DR. Symbol for an EP, estimated position, is a square and a dot. And I'll put the time of 10.30. And you notice then that we have a DR at 10.30 and an EP at 10.30, estimated position at 10.30. And we can distinguish them. We don't have to write in DR. We don't have to write in EP. We can distinguish them simply by the symbols. The next question here is, what is your estimated position at 10.30? And as we have done before, we're simply going to take that point and figure out the latitude longitude of it. Put my parallel rules parallel to the a line of latitude as we did before. Come over here and put a little mark in there. And my answer for that latitude is 26 degrees 00, 0 0.9 minutes. If you notice it's 26. This here, right here, is one minute of latitude and we are at 0, 0, 0.9 so when you write that this is latitude 26 degrees 0, 0, 0.9 minutes north and remember to write the zero because otherwise you get fouled up later on when you're doing some adding or subtracting and then the longitude of this point is done the same way as we've done it before. I line up my parallel rules properly, bring this through the, the EP point, estimated position point, and I draw in a little mark there. And uh, this is longitude 75 degrees 0.1.5 minutes west. 
and that's the answer to that uh, problem. Now, one other thing to just note here, although this was not asked in the question, our course over ground in this case was actually from point C to the estimated position. In other words, we actually traveled over ground in this direction, even though we were sailing on the DR in that direction. So that's uh, a type A current problem.